Okay, this is a very, very, very basic beginner tutorial. This is just how to create a shape of your own in Illustrator and then pass it over into Photoshop and make a custom shape out of it. Um, the reason why you might want to do this, make a shape first in Illustrator and then put it in Photoshop is because you might want a custom shape in Photoshop, but Photoshop does not have as many options for creating shapes. It's, it's pretty basic and limited, whereas in Illustrator, you can create a whole slew of really complex, complicated shapes. So, um, like, for example, um, take a square that you might want to cut off the edges and have it so that the edges are kind of sawn off. Um, it's a lot easier to do something like that in Photoshop, um, or in Illustrator, I mean, because you can add custom anchor points to the ends of it or wherever you want and then you can just remove one and then you have like that custom shape right there so i have um made one right here there it is the square with the sawn off edges so what you do is you select the whole thing and then press command c to copy it and then move over into photoshop here you are in photoshop blank document go up here to where it says paths and then go down here and select that little create new path thing and now press command V to paste and make sure you select path and there is the path of the shape right there so then all you do is you just go up here to edit and choose define custom shape and you can name it square with ends cut off and now you don't need to have your path selected anymore. Here you are. You go here to your uh, shapes tool and you come down here to custom shape tool. And now up here, you've got a whole list of custom shapes. Here's the one we just created. Click it. And there it is. There's the beautiful, lovely custom shape that now you can do whatever the heck you want with. Great thing with a nice shape like that is it's kind of treated almost like a vector in a way inside of Photoshop. Um, and you can do that with any type of shape you want. It's a great little handy thing to have. Now, also while we're on the subject of custom shapes, let's say you have something like a guitar that you also want to make a custom shape out of. Very simple, once again. You just take this, as long as it's been alphaed out, it has you know an alpha channel, so it's just the guitar. Then if you hold down Command and click on the little window, it will select just the guitar or just the object and now go over here to path come up here to this little option thing and do make work path tolerance 0 0.5 this just means like how closely do you want the path to align to this these little marching ants that shape if you do 20 it's not going to be as accurate the most accurate you can do in photoshop is 0 0.5 press OK. Now we've created a path around the guitar. So just like before, you come up here to edit and choose define custom shape. And you write guitar. And you don't need to select that anymore. And you can get rid of the guitar. Bring back your background back up. And come to custom shape. Select the custom shape. Boom. There's the guitar. Oh, oh, ow. Oops. Here, let me draw it that way. By holding um, Option and Shift while you drag it out, it will stay uniform in its size and shape. So there you go. It doesn't look that great because, you know, I didn't cut it out perfectly. But you get the idea, and you can have a lot of fun. You can make all sorts of cool custom shapes and yada, yada, yada. So enjoy. Hope it helps. Take care. Be safe.